Hey everybody, Sean with The Good Dog with our 60 second training tip and this one is called creating clarity through consistent, gradual life exposure and experience. So, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about corrections. I'm talking about when dogs are corrected for jumping, when dogs are corrected for counter surfing, when dogs are corrected for resource guarding, things like that. It tends to freak owners out. They get worried that the dog will not ever eat again. The dog will never go in the kitchen again or be around food again, or the dog will not want to eat out of its bowl again. The reality is, is that first, you need good timing. You want to correct when the moment goes down so the dog knows, oh man, that's the problem. I shouldn't be doing that. Secondly, to create more clarity, the dog will go through life and incrementally push a little bit more, like, can I get close to the kitchen? Cool, no consequence, great. I can get even further into the kitchen. Can I eat my food? No consequence, great. Can I uh, be around people and be excited and be playful and, and, and jubilant or ubulant or whatever the word is? Yes. You just can't jump up. And what dogs learn are clear distinctions of life because life is going to teach them. Life is going to share that like you can do this, 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 and this, and there's no consequence. But if you do this, there is a consequence. And then dogs gather feedback and information from their world, and then they put the pieces together. And then just like us, they navigate like that works, that doesn't work. Okay, cool. And makes for a lot of clarity and makes for very, comfortable, relaxed, easy dogs that aren't worried about consequences or corrections befalling them just out of the blue. They know that they're connected to very specific certain behaviors, which creates clarity, confidence, certainty, relaxation, and a healthy, happy, safe dog.